This is a NAIS Interlibrary Loan System training video. Today we're going to cover placing interlibrary loan requests for travel guides. In other words, how to request a returnable item using a serial record. Today we'll be working at the Lilac Public Library. I am already logged into the system as the Lilac Library's interlibrary loan user. Just like any other request that we're going to place, the first thing we need to do is to find the record that matches the item that we're after. So I have a patron who is planning a trip to Paris, and they would like to borrow a copy of the Eyewitness Paris Travel Guide. They're looking for the most recent edition. So I'm going to search for Eyewitness Paris. I get... Um, quite a lot of results and there are still 39 additional resources remaining um, so there are quite a few hits out there 1,109 total results um, have come up for this so in order to narrow in better on what I'm actually looking for which is going to be a serial record because I want the most recent edition and these should typically be travel guides should typically be cataloged as serials I'm going to use the format facet over here on the left hand side side and choose serial. This will limit my search results to a smaller group, so I get 10 results now. This first one is um, the DK Publishing, which is who does the eyewitness guides. There are seven records attached to that, so that seems like a fairly promising um, choice for getting a good number of lenders. So I'm going to choose this record, but before I do, there's no cover art, so I'm going to take a look at the actual thing. So I'm going to go to the serial record, I'm going to take a look at the new pack record, and this is indeed an open serial record, so presumably some of the most current edition could be covered under this record. There's a few holdings there. As I had said before, it matched a number of other records exactly, so there's a good chance that I'll have a decent number of lenders here. So I'm going to request this item, and I do that by clicking the Request This Item button. When I do that, because this is a serial record, the system assumes that I'm going to be making a photocopy of an article, and therefore it brings up the copyright restriction information. I'm going to say yes to that, that I agree to it, even though it isn't actually relevant to what I'm doing because I want to borrow an entire book rather than a photocopy, but I still have to clear that screen and if I say no, it won't move me forward. So the next step, this is now a non-returnable copy request screen, but that is not what I want. I don't want a photocopy, I want to borrow the whole book. So I'm going to switch to the returnable loan screen and I do that by clicking up here um, where it says returnable loan. When I do that, the little line moves over to show that I am now in the returnable loan screen. I can also tell that by this giant type that says returnable loan. So now I need to complete the information to place my request. The basic information about the record itself is all built in. I don't need to do anything with that. Under the patron's contact info, um, the policy of the Lilac Public Library is to make a note of how the patron wants to be notified when the material is in, so I'm going to put in text. My patron's name on this request is York, so I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to put a note to let the lending library know that I am interested in, stood in the most recent edition, ideally 2019. Editions older than 2018 won't be useful for my patron. Okay. So this should tell any potential lender, if they only have the 2017 or the 2016 edition of this, they shouldn't bother to send it to me, I don't want it. So the van information is all filled in, all of the rest of this default stuff is there, all I need to do now is click Submit. I now see that my transaction here is request number 22886. 
I'm going to make a note of that on my paperwork here at the Lilac Public Library so I know that when this comes in, Mr. York is who needs to be notified and I can keep track of what's gone on with it within my own system here. So then I say OK and my transaction is complete. I hope this video has been helpful in explaining how to place an interlibrary loan request for a travel guide. If you have questions, please contact the NAES Help Desk at 603-271-2141. Thank you.